Well, I... I just took a massive sh <laughs> What the fuck? Hello, my dear followers, the Fitubers, how's your day going? Right now, I am not in my home, I am actually at my grandmother's house. Since I've entered vacation, I'm gonna spend... I think three days here, this is day one, so on Friday I might be back home. And I'm also sorry if I stutter, okay? I'm not used to, like, speaking English out loud. You can see I'm a little different, right? Because some of you may not uh, follow my posts that I make on my channel, but... I've cut my hair. I didn't actually cut my hair, I've actually gotten rid of it. Because the weather in Brazil has been unbearably hot. And being a hot person myself, I just couldn't withstand it. I, I had to get rid of it. This is so much more refreshing and uh, comfortable, to say the least. Not to mention that I, I save money and time taking care of it. I take a shower, I usually uh, had to dry it, had to brush it, but like this, just dry myself with a towel and that's it. I've been growing it for, I think, Four years now, the last time I cut my hair before this time was, I think, February 2020, before I went to the United States the first time, and yeah, I think that's it's been a pretty good journey. And by the way, that straight hair I had, it's not my natural hair. My natural hair is black power. First, I tried it as black power, but it was a sacrifice to take care of it because uh, the curly hair just got a lot of knots in the way and it was so annoying and then I tried uh, to straighten it but it was also a sacrifice because from time to time the root the curly roots will grow out and the maid we used to have back home uh, she also she was also a hairdresser so after a, a, a few days working there she would I would tell her can you bring the stuff to straighten my hair and she would bring the stuff and after her shift she would uh, stay uh, stay home for a few for three more hours to straighten my hair but anyway this is not the video about my hair or about my grandma's house so uh, a couple of days ago you might have noticed that I posted a rather peculiar video it was this one the one with no title and no no thumbnail, no description, nothing. I didn't even reply to any comments in there. So about about that video, I want to say two things. The first one is I want to appreciate and thank you very much for the nice messages I got from that video and people worrying about me, my welfare and everything, my mental health and people worrying, I got comments like I'm so sorry that you're going uh, through something like that and there's always a light at the end of the tunnel, it will not be permanent and stuff and I wanna thank you so much because seeing those comments was like refreshing to say the least because that shows that I can count on you every time I can I might be going through hard times or something so thank you very much GAY! But also, the second thing I want to say is I'm so sorry for worrying you that much. I want to deeply apologize for worrying you that much because that was not the intent of the video. I see that people got a little too worried about me, more than I expected actually. Like, sure, the video represents like me uh, having an anxiety attack, but that does not represent reality. That video does not represent anything that's going on with me personally. So because of that, I wanna sincerely apologize for you for worrying you that much. That was not my goal, that was not what I wanted. I wanna thank you uh, for the fact that you wished me well, but I also wanna apologize for worrying you too much that I should have. So you might ask. Then why did you make the video if you're not going through anything, any anxiety or stuff? Here's the thing. In college, I'm studying audiovisual production. Is that how it said? Audiovisual production. Anyway. That means I am learning to how properly work with anything that involves audio and video. For example, how to edit on Adobe Premiere, how to edit audio on Adobe. I think it's Audition, right? Yeah, it's Audition. How to use like the lighting to create a cinematic, uh, a cinematic mood 
how to put a soundtrack in certain in certain times to create a mood in the in the movie how to mess with the coloring where the coloring can be more vivid or more like dull i'm learning all that that's the thing i've been doing this course for like a year and a half now i just ended the third semester right now and then i ended vacation and then i thought maybe i could have fun with the things i've learned like uh, making cuts different angles instead of everything being just like uh, sequence you know so that's what i did i just thought to myself how can i have fun with the things i i've learned in there and then i had the idea of making a video like that messing with the camera the angles the different cuts and stuff instead of all everything being just one single sequence you know and then i went through some ideas for example i thought of like recording myself sort of waking up and then getting up from bed or uh, go into the kitchen, have a glass of water at night, or something like that. But then I had the idea of coming up with something more simpler. That was... <laughs> that was the... The anxiety attack video. Like, I recorded myself with a camera that my parents are using for their job right now. It is an old Canon camera, by the way. So I took the camera and took various shots. For example, the opening cut, that was the... The view from my window and I slowly turned the camera and then I recorded my hand like messing with the mouse and me having like uh, certain reactions being left there all bored and browsing like for something to watch but then all of a sudden it comes the anxiety attack my I recorded my hand shaking and, and fidgeting the other cuts like the close to my mouth my breath turning heavier and heavier like the close-up to my hands fidgeting and even the close-up to my eye when I'm like I, uh, having the anxiety I look everywhere in front of me and then I close my eyes and that's how the video ends if you notice I added a sound effect there of a heart beating to symbolize this uh, anxiety attack like the heart is beating faster it's an actual anxiety and then the camera focuses on my eye like looking everywhere and then I close it and that's where all the sounds except the heart beating that stops and then everything turns black and the phrase comes slowly into the screen I've slept ellipsis yet I'm tired and then it slowly fades into darkness, giving off this depressive and mysterious mood. So that's what that video was about. It wasn't like uh, something to symbolize what I was feeling. The fuck? I swear to God I heard something. <laughs> So it wasn't to symbolize what I am feeling, it was rather uh, an artistic thing I wanted to do to have fun with. Like, I'm studying the things uh, about cinema and audio and stuff, and I wanted to have a little fun with it. And another thing I wanted to tell you about that video is the title. You can see, the video has no title. And you might ask, That's impossible! How did you upload a video without any title? The system requires you to upload it with a title. How did you do that? Well, here's the fun part. There actually is a character in the title, but the character can't be seen. So it's a special character that allowed me to make that titleless video. You can look it up for yourself. It's called Zero Width. You can just put Zero Width in the Google and then you, you will find various links that allows you to copy and paste the Zero Width character. So I'm really sorry for worrying you that much with that video. That wasn't my intent. Uh, I want to appreciate, like again, I appreciate the the nice comments I received and wishing me well, but again, that wasn't my intent, so I'm so sorry if, if you thought I was going through something, okay? It was really fun recording that, and I had fun editing that video because I recorded everything with the camera, and then I, I put all the files into my computer, and then had fun editing. And by the way, the software I'm using to make my videos right now is this one, Kaden Live. You could try it out for yourself, the software is... So that's pretty much what this video was about, like, uh, talking about that video I made, apologizing for worrying you too much, but also thanking you for the, the nice messages I got from that video. It was something I did for fun, just to try out my, 
my editing skills and my, my camera position skills, my storytelling skills. So I hope this video made it clear that I'm not going through anything, anything bad or any hard phases in my life and I might do more. But now at least you know that it isn't like a, a real thing. It's just me having fun with the camera and editing the video. So yeah, at least you will know then. I'm sorry again, I'm sorry if that worried you too much, but I also thank you for the nice messages, okay? See you soon.